Section. Introduction. In this paper, we delve into the role of hyperparameters in machine learning models. Unlike the parameters that are learned during training, hyperparameters are not directly learned but have a significant impact on the model's ability to generalize effectively. They determine the model's complexity, the strength of regularization, the optimization strategy, the loss function, and more. Given their importance, several methods have been proposed to automatically find the best hyperparameters. For instance, black box optimization methods like random search or Bayesian optimization have been used for hyperparameter optimization. Other methods take into account the structure of the problem, such as being aware of the computing environment, budget, multitasking like transfer learning, iterative optimization, online, or multi-objective. However, these methods have their limitations. They still require practitioners to design a search space, which includes selecting which parameters can be optimized and specifying bounds on these parameters. They also typically struggle in the initial search phase, especially when dealing with multidimensional hyperparameters. In this study, we explore the potential of large language models, LLMs, to optimize hyperparameters. LLMs are trained on a vast amount of data and have shown promising capabilities in new settings. We provide LLMs with an initial set of instructions, including the specific dataset, model, and hyperparameters, and ask them to recommend hyperparameters to evaluate. After receiving these hyperparameters, we train the model based on the proposed configuration, record the final metric, like validation loss, and ask the LLM to suggest the next set of hyperparameters. We put our proposed algorithm to the test by investigating whether LLMs can optimize 2D toy optimization objectives, where LLMs only receive loss at specific points. We found that LLMs effectively minimize the loss, either by exploiting performant regions or exploring untested areas. We also evaluated our approach on standard hyperparameter optimization benchmarks, comparing it to common methods such as random search and Bayesian optimization. We found that with small search budgets, LLMs can improve traditional hyperparameter tuning. We also found that LLMs can perform well over longer horizons of 30 evaluations, suggesting that LLM output could complement other hyperparameter optimization methods. We further explored the possibilities of optimizing hyperparameters with more flexibility. Instead of sticking to a fixed set of hyperparameter configurations, we prompted LLMs to produce training code to improve validation performance. This approach eliminates the need for human specification of the hyperparameters and their search spaces, making it easier to apply machine learning to real-world problems. The generated code provides a strong initialization and can reduce the initial search for configuration spaces that are unlikely to succeed. We found that with a limited search budget, code generation performs better than random search. We conclude with a discussion of language models as general-purpose hyperparameter tuning assistants, their limitations, and future work. Hyperparameter optimization can be seen as a two-level optimization problem. The training and validation objectives are represented by L underscore T and L underscore V, while the hyperparameters and the model parameters are represented by lambda and W. The goal is to find the hyperparameters that minimize the validation loss when the training objective is trained to convergence. Hyperparameter optimization can be done sequentially, where a proposal lambda underscore n depends on the sequence of prior values and their validation losses. For example, Bayesian optimization builds a probabilistic model, such as a Gaussian process, to map hyperparameters to the validation loss. This approach iteratively selects the next hyperparameters to evaluate by optimizing an acquisition function that balances exploration and exploitation, thereby converging to the optimal hyperparameters that minimize the validation loss. In a limited budget setting, practitioners often employ a trial and error, manual, search, choosing hyperparameters based on prior knowledge or experience. In this paper, we assess the ability of large language models in this role hypothesizing they will be effective as they have been trained on internet-scale data and have demonstrated emergent capabilities in new settings. Section Summary Hyperparameters play a crucial role in determining the effectiveness of machine learning models, and various methods have been proposed to automatically find strong hyperparameter configurations. This paper explores the potential of large language models, LLMs, to optimize hyperparameters by prompting them with initial instructions and iteratively refining the recommendations based on the model's performance. The results show that LLMs can effectively minimize loss and outperform traditional hyperparameter tuning methods, even with limited search budgets. Additionally, 
The paper investigates the use of LLMs to generate training code, which can automate the application of machine learning to real-world problems and reduce the need for human specification of hyperparameters. Section. LLMs for hyperparameter optimization. Let's delve deeper into our method for optimizing hyperparameters using large language models, LLMs. We'll start with situations where the hyperparameters search space is already known. First, we give the LLM a description of the problem and the search space. The LLM then suggests a hyperparameter setting for us to evaluate. We continue this process in two alternating steps. One, assessing the current hyperparameter setting, and two, giving the LLM a validation metric, like loss or accuracy, to get the next set of hyperparameters. We keep doing this until we've used up our search budget. We've included a diagram of this process in the paper, and the prompts we use are listed in the appendices. These prompts give a broad overview of the machine learning problem, the tunable hyperparameters, and their associated search spaces, if known. We use two methods to prompt the model, both of which follow a chat interface where the model is given a dialogue of user and assistant messages. The models we use generate tokens based on an input temperature and stop at a stop token. We give the model the entire conversation history, so the number of messages in the nth prompt increases linearly with the number of steps. This is because each new step includes two more messages, the previous LLM response and the validation metrics from the training run using the hyperparameters in the response. The number of tokens increases by the number of tokens representing the validation metrics and configuration. We call this the chat prompt method. Alternatively, we can condense the previous search history into a single initial message. This message includes the problem description and a history of configurations and corresponding validation metrics. This method is more compact, especially when we use chain of thought reasoning prompting strategies. It's also cheaper to infer from compressed messages than from the previous method. We found that both methods perform similarly, and we call this the compressed prompt method. When the search space is unknown, we can prompt an LLM to generate code for the model and optimizer, which gives us a hyperparameter setting to evaluate. The environment then runs the generated code and gives the output to the LLM. If the code doesn't produce a validation accuracy, we can re-prompt with the error message. Hyperparameter optimization, HPO, is crucial for strong performance in machine learning. Initial research mainly used model-free techniques like grid and random search. More advanced methods use multi-fidelity optimization, which takes advantage of our optimization being an iterative process. For example, Hyperband and the success of having introduced multi-armed bandit approaches to allow for the early stopping of less promising hyperparameter configurations. These methods are easy to parallelize and have shown promising results in practice, but they depend on random processes and don't fully leverage the HPO structure. Bayesian optimization, BO builds a surrogate model from past function evaluations to choose promising future candidates. Bo also models uncertainty, which is used by optimizing an acquisition function instead of the loss directly. Since Bo's initial successes in optimizing hyperparameters, numerous tools have been developed to optimize the pipeline for improved efficiency and adaptability. However, Bo requires building an inductive bias in conditional probability, is heavily influenced by the choice of surrogate model parameters, and faces scalability problems with an increase in the number of hyperparameters being tuned or the number of past function evaluations. Gradient or conditioning-based methods present a more scalable and efficient solution for HPO. However, they are often difficult to implement, require the objective to be differentiable, and must be deployed in the same location as the underlying model, which makes them less appealing as general HPO solvers. LLMs have proven to be exceptionally valuable in a variety of practical domains, showing surprising emergent abilities, including in context learning and chain of thought reasoning. Although LLMs are known to occasionally give confident but incorrect answers, they are also shown to have reasoning capabilities, especially when explicitly guided to. Recent studies have used LLMs for optimization, such as finding the best prompt for the downstream task or integrating LLMs into the general AutoML pipeline. Section Summary. The authors propose using large language models, LLMs, for hyperparameter optimization, HPO, in machine learning. They describe two approaches for prompting the LLM, a chat prompt where the model is prompted with a dialogue history, and a compressed prompt where the previous search history is compressed into a single initial message.
They also mention that LLMs can be prompted to generate code for the model and optimizer when the search space is unknown. The authors discuss different methods for HPO, including model-free techniques, Bayesian optimization, BO, and gradient-based methods. They highlight the scalability and efficiency challenges of BO and the implementation and differentiability requirements of gradient-based methods. Finally, they mention the value of LLMs in decision-making and optimization tasks, citing their abilities in context learning, chain-of-thought reasoning, and finding competitive architectures in neural architecture search. Section. Results. We're going to share our findings from hyperparameter tuning on eight different datasets and four models, namely neural networks, support vector machines, SVMs, random forests, and logistic regression. These models and datasets are part of the HPO Bench Benchmark, which is a standard for hyperparameter optimization. We also delve into low-dimensional optimization problems to better understand and visualize the trajectories of language learning models, LLMs, in a simpler setting. We then discuss how our approach can be applied to code generation. We use the first eight datasets provided by HPO Bench and tuned hyperparameters for the four algorithms implemented in Sklearn. This resulted in 32 different tasks. For each model, we tuned a specific number of hyperparameters, two for SVMs and logistic regression, four for random forests, and five for neural networks. We compared our approach with other hyperparameter optimization, HPO, methods, including the most recent versions of GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 models from OpenAI, Random Search, and Bayesian Optimization, BO. We found that GPT 4 Turbo performed better and was less expensive than GPT 4. Random Search often outperforms grid and manual search, especially when the hyperparameter space has low effective dimensionality. We randomly sampled 500 configurations for each model and dataset combination, evaluated the corresponding losses, and then used a bootstrap sample to estimate the loss on a given budget. We also evaluated two Bayesian HPO methods in the SMAC3 library that use random forest and Gaussian processes as surrogate models. We compared the difference in validation error versus random search, where a reduction from 0.2 to 0.1 is considered a 50% improvement. We found that GPT-4 Turbo outperformed random search most frequently and achieved the highest mean and median improvement. We also evaluated the effects of chain of thought on performance. We found that including reasoning had a significant positive impact on GPT-3.5 and a marginal impact on GPT-4. For example, when tuning hyperparameters for a neural network, GPT-4 reasoned that if the loss remained the same despite changes in the hyperparameters, the model might not be sensitive to these parameters or has reached a local minimum. Therefore, a more drastic change in the learning rate and depth should be tried. We also evaluated our approach on a longer time horizon, with 30 function queries. We found that a longer search trajectory has a reduced dependency on initialization and requires a better search algorithm for good performance. GPT-4 Turbo still compared favorably with other approaches. Finally, we ran a preliminary experiment to assess if LLMs can be useful to initialize Bayesian optimization. We found that for a search trajectory of length 30, using the LLM proposed configurations for the first 10 steps improves or matches performance on 21 of the 32 tasks, 65.6%, .6 for Bayesian optimization with a random forest surrogate function. Section Summary the authors present their results on tuning hyperparameters for different models and datasets using the HPO Bench Benchmark. They compare various hyperparameter optimization, HPO, approaches, including LLMs, random search, and Bayesian optimization, and find that GPT-4 Turbo performs the best. They also explore the effects of chain of thought reasoning on performance and observe that it has a positive impact on GPT-3.5 and a marginal impact on GPT-4. Section. Code generation. We're going to talk about code generation, which is a flexible way to define the parameters for hyperparameter tuning. In this scenario, we consider the source code of the model and optimizer as hyperparameters that are fine-tuned by the language learning model, LLM. We use code generation to avoid the need for a specific search space. We compared this approach with random search and LLMs that have a fixed search space. The baseline methods were given a space that included the depth and width of the network, the batch size, learning rate, and weight decay. 
To avoid any data leakage issues, we used a recent Kaggle NYC taxi dataset for our experiments. In the first tuning iteration, we asked the LLM to output source code for the model and optimizer, which also implicitly required specifying the hyperparameters. This code was generated as functions that take in hyperparameters as arguments. In later iterations, the LLM was asked to generate function calls with specific arguments. The model was run with these settings, and the LLM received feedback in the form of the validation loss and the average training losses during each epoch. We found that code generation provided better initial settings than other methods. We also tested LLMs on a set of two-dimensional toy test functions commonly used in optimization. We found that performance varied across different random seeds, suggesting that there is room for improvement in our approach. However, our approach has some limitations. One of the main limitations is the limited context length. LLMs typically have a predetermined context window size and cannot process prompts that exceed this limit in the token count. As we incorporate the history of previously tried suggestions from the LLMs, the number of input tokens in the prompt increases with each additional round of hyperparameter optimization. Another challenge is reproducibility. The exact inference procedures for LLMs like GPT-4 are not publicly disclosed, making replicating the results in this work potentially challenging. For future studies, using open-source LLMs to establish a benchmark with reproducible results would be beneficial. In conclusion, when performing hyperparameter optimization, LLMs can extend beyond fixed configuration spaces for hyperparameter tuning. They can offer interactive help to debug and improve models using natural language. However, there are still challenges to overcome, such as limited context length and reproducibility. Section Summary Code generation is a flexible approach for specifying the configuration space in hyperparameter tuning, where the model and optimizer source code are treated as hyperparameters. This method allows for a more diverse search space compared to fixed configuration-based search spaces. Additionally, LLMs with code generation outperform random search and LLMs with fixed search spaces, achieving better initial settings for hyperparameter tuning. Section. Possibility of dataset contamination. Potential for dataset contamination. There's a chance that some of the benchmarks we used for evaluation might have been included in the training data for the language learning model, LLM. However, past studies indicate that such overlap may not significantly affect the overall performance. It would be beneficial for future research to create more private datasets that the LLM hasn't seen during training, or even synthetic datasets like the ones we used in our quadratic experiments. We want to stress that our prompting process only gives the function's output and doesn't include any information about the benchmark, which minimizes the chance of exact memorization. Cost Implications Running a full-scale hyperparameter optimization, HPO, experiment with GPT-4 can be expensive. For instance, carrying out 32 tasks using chain-of-thought reasoning on HPO bench costs around $8 US dollars as of September 2023. This cost can go up if you use more budget, but it can be brought down by using the compressed prompt. We're hopeful that as models become more efficient and capable, this cost issue will lessen. LLMs as assistance for hyperparameter tuning. We conducted preliminary experiments to show how an LLM can serve as a versatile assistant for training pipelines. In one figure, the LLMs provide valuable feedback for error messages, something that traditional methods can't do. However, this approach can face the same issues that current language models do, such as hallucinations. In another figure, the LLM assumes that the user has a neural network and suggests regularization, which might not be useful if the model is underfitting. Further exploration of this approach is a promising area for future research. Acknowledgements We would like to express our gratitude to Cindy Zhang, Marta Skreta, Harris Chan, and David Duvino for their valuable feedback on earlier versions of this work.